Hi guys, uh, how you doing? Here's another video and you see already over there is usually I prepared this something to make it for you more understandable by visual perception. And as you guys also know is if you figured out if you watch my other 30s or 50s videos about I have already that you figure out that I am in every field somehow for some reason you know which is actually nothing to do with the other field but if you look all the videos you will see that there is a there is a connection between all those videos and that's the only thing I can do it and but you have to find out by yourself but they're all connected in the all connected and I find it by myself very fascinated where it leads me meaning wherever that wherever it leads me to go to observe to watch I look at it adapt it and go further look at new look at it adapt it go further always like this I never stay with one thing and if you watch if you what if you will watch all my videos I've uploaded so far you will see that there is a, a bigger network connection what I'm trying to explain and here is another thing what I what I found really interesting I was uh, w watching TED talks TED is a very popular uh, daily video podcast of best talks and performances from TED conference uh, where the world's leading thinkers and doers talks on technology entertainment design uh, science business global issues and much more so those are really like physicists doctors uh, journalists etc and thinkers and doers and they say facts and you know so I came on that video and the title was his name was and I found it really really, really interesting and you will want you you will find out by yourself why when you're really listening and when you really get it so it was published on the uh, the TED talk TED talks uh, daily podcast TED conference TED conference it was pu published May 5th 2016 and the journalist's name is Steven P Pitranek Pitranek Stefan Petranek and his topic was hold on I wrote it somewhere down okay right here your kids might live on Mars your kids might live on Mars here here is how they will survive so what he's actually doing is proven facts how the process has to be done on Mars to make that human beings can live there and that was very profounding when I was listening to him when he talks about it and 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 you will see you right now here so very interesting and if and you will see that all my videos what I've made are really I get all the confirmation what I see on other things what I what my theory is and that's really astonishing so that's the so I want you to know that this is the Sun it's yellow I don't know if you see it but that's the Sun this is the moth is Mars the green one that's the South Pole and it's a, a, a North Pole I know geographically North Pole is on the top and South was in the south as we see them on, on maps but in the magnetic field uh, South Pole is is up and North Pole is uh, uh, down so those are the poles that's planet Mars and those uh, south and north poles and that's the Sun now listen to this because you have to create the earth that we can live on from ground on from the beginning on so from zero how to make how we can make life how we can live on Mars to make Mars as the planet Earth so we can live on the planet Earth, you know, but they want to do this with Moth, Mars. So he says that the Mars has a lot of incredible amount of, car of frozen carbon dioxide. It's dry ice, 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 dry ice, you know, ice, right? 
called carbon dioxide, frozen uh, carbon dioxide, incredible amount of it. Now he says, if we heat it up, it sublimes directly into the atmosphere and thickens the atmosphere the same way it does on Earth. CO2 is an incredible potent greenhouse gas. And he says, my favorite way of doing this is to erect a very, very large solar sail and focus it. It essentially serves as a mirror. That's why I'm saying if you think back on my videos, I, all, I all already made all those theories and I got here the statement. What I was thinking of without no knowledge, just by observ observation of it. My favorite way of doing this is to erect a very, very large solar sail and focus it. It essentially serves as a mirror and focus it on the south pole of Mars at first. It, 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 if you see my videos, the bendable mirror and all that stuff, just watch all that stuff. So he says that there will be a, a, a solar which is this right here. Right? That's a solar sail and it functions like a mirror so that the sun gets on here the sunlight and the heat and it, it reflects the solar sail is kind of like a reflector and it sends the heat and everything on the Mars so the ice carbon dioxide can melt. Right? So that's the solar sail mirror so let me just read it again uh, if we heat it up the supplemental uh, so the uh, Mars has an incredible amount of frozen carbon dioxide and it's dry ice the ice that the ice you have in your refrigerator in the in the ice in the ice refrigerator it's carbon, it's carbon dioxide ice, or the ice we have on planet Earth on the North Pole and South Pole. I want you to be very incredibly aware and listen. If we heat it, if we heat it up, it sublimes directly into the atmosphere, the, the carbon dry ice, and it thickens the atmosphere the same way it does on Earth. This all the, I wrote, I, I have written down all the words exactly how he was saying it. The same way it does on Earth. CO2 is an incredible potent greenhouse gas. My favorite way of doing this is to erect a very, very large solar soil and focus it. It, is, it essentially serves as a mirror and, and focus it on the South Pole at Mars first. As the planet spins around, spins around, it will heat up the dry ice, sublim sublime it, and it will go into the atmosphere. It won't take actually long for the temperature on Mars to start rising, probably less than 20 years. Right? And then he says, then we get some real magic. As the atmosphere gets thicker, everything gets better. We get more protection from radiation, more atmosphere, makes us warmer, makes the planet warmer, so we get running water and now all the, plant, all the plants and the seeds can eventually grow up. So we got running water. Then, then more water vapor goes into the air, forming 
forming yet another potent greenhouse gas and it will rain and it will snow on Mars and the thicker atmosphere will create enough pressure. Eventually Mars will be made to feel a lot like British Columbia. So and if you heard now very with attention awareness how he explained it what it needs to be done to make the Mars like Earth that tells me that they might have done this in the same way with the Earth. That they knew that the planet Earth was in the beginning just dry ice. It was nothing on planet Earth, but they knew that, a, that the Earth had an incredible amount of dry ice, frozen carbon dioxide. And we know we have the North Pole and the South Pole, right? And he was saying if we heat it up with a, with a, with a solar sail, a mirror, as a reflector and focus it on the South Pole, right? And as the planet spins, spins around, it will heat up all the dry ice, sub, sublime it and it will go into uh, the atmosphere. And it won't take it too long for the temperature in Mars to start rising. So what I'm what I'm trying to tell you here is, with that technology, they're talking about that they actually just need. Because the the thing is this: if you have a, a planet, there's just like desert, nothing on it, but inside the planet is a lot of ice carbonate, right, uh, dioxide. What they actually need to create an atmosphere environment like the earth, that everything is a greenhouse and, pl and plants growing out and all that stuff. You have to create the atmosphere first. The atmosphere that you can breathe, the atmosphere and all that stuff. And to do this, you need actually, how he said, you need actually just one device and that is a huge solar sail that functions like a mirror and just point it on the south pole and everything does from itself you just gotta wait 20 years right because Mars spins around and as he said you the reflector gets the, the sail uh, the the mirrors uh, the mirror solar sail gets the sunlight and heat from the sun and this in the in the in the solar mirror sail reflects it on the pole where is the ice inside the planet and it's melting right so obvious all that stuff goes in the air the processing what happens with the heat it went it gets vapor like waterly and also you get floating water which we have on planet earth the rivers in the ocean. So my question is now, if they if they do it like this on Mars and they say it works like that, that tells me to when they have created Earth, it was actually just a mirror and it was just like a, a, a mirror. It was just like a mirror kind of like device, and all that made the Earth happens to grow everything, plants, everything. So I think now that if they have done this, let's just go back, if they have done this the same way to planet Earth, it would make so much sense because all the ocean water, what we see as ocean, I think that that wasn't there in the beginning. The ocean water was in their beginning, but it came along the years, thousands of centuries of years, because of heating up the uh, ice carbonate dioxide, what we have inside the planet Earth. Like the rest of it, you know, like when you do something and the rest, the rest stuff of it, you can use it no more because actually you cannot drink ocean water, right? Because it's, it's poison, it's, it's salty and, and you cannot drink that water. So it's very interesting. Uh, so I hope you, uh, it makes so much sense. 
just imagine that one single device, which is a, a solar mirror sail, was the only thing that hovers over a, a dark area and that mirror, whatever it was, was the beginning of everything. A solar mirror. A mirror. It's actually a mirror. It don't have to be a solar. Because a mirror like this. Remember? And I did a lot of experiments with the mirror if you watch my videos. This is a flexible, bendable mirror. So if this is the sun right here, right? And this is the solar sail mirror, right? And here is the planet. Let's say here is the planet, right? So what it needs to do is just reflect the sunlight and the heat to here, to, to the Earth or to Mars, and it rotates all the time. And by rotating, the ice melts. It's like you're cooking something on a pot. It's, it's, very, in, it's very interesting, like alchemy, then, then cooking in your kitchen, and very interesting. So uh, thank you for watching, and see you soon.